Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to work with um, dimensioning inside the EC Profiler. And uh, by default, EC Profiler creates outside to outside dimensions, okay? Always by default, not from the inside edge to the inside edge. Um, as you can see here, this is from the outside to this outside edge. Okay, but there's going to be instances where somebody wants to make an inside dimension. Say, for instance, on the inside of this channel, we want to control that dimension. So, what we can do is we can place dimensions. And we're going to do that here by using these tools here. So, okay, to create an inside dimension, I'm going to click this tool here. This is going to make a horizontal dimension. So, you can see my points that highlight it when I get close. So I'm going to click from that point to this point, and then I'm going to click in space to place the dimension. Now you can see the red line is in perfect alignment with that edge, so we know we got an inside dimension. You can compare it obviously between the other dimension that we have to compare. Now, now we know what that is, but if I want to edit the dimension, I can, I can always change this one, the original, the default one that's placed, Okay, I'm going to make that four inches, and you can see our other dimension updates. So this dimension that we just placed, we can't edit this, it's just a reference. So if you're trying to control this, you can still click on this dimension to make the dimension you need over here. Keep changing this one until this shows the number you're looking for, or, or if you just need this for reference, you don't do anything. Um, so that's how you control it. So let me show you how to place another dimension here. This one's going to be from up here to here. Okay. So again, this one's going to be actually from an outside to an inside. So I'm going to click there, and I'm going to click there, and place the dimension. Here you can see the difference. Okay. Now if I want to change this dimension, I can come over here, click this button, Click on the dimension I want to enter. Let's just make this 2.125. That changes, and this one updates with it. So if you need to control this dimension, you'll drive it with this one. Change this one until you see the dimension you need here. And that's how we create these inside dimensions, these alternative ways of dimensioning your part. And that's it. Thank you.